U.S. Olympics gymnastics coach John Geddert. He was formally charged today with two dozen felonies tied to the Larry Nassar sex abuse scandal. But now we've learned Geddert has died by suicide. Fox 2's Tim Skubik joining us live with more on today's developments. Tim. Wow. Uh, what an incredible story. At about the time that Dana Nessel, the state attorney general, was outlining these 24 counts against uh, John Geddert, uh, somewhere uh, we believe he was found at a rest stop near Grand Ledge. He was taking his own life. Uh, the authorities got suspicious earlier this afternoon when he was scheduled, scheduled to appear for the arraignment in an Eaton County courtroom at around 2.15. He was a no-show. And so the authorities went to action, and they first went to his house, nothing there, and eventually his dead body was found at this rest stop in Grand Ledge. He was facing a huge list of charges from the attorney general, including human trafficking, forced labor, two counts of sexual misconduct, and lying to the authorities about his relationship with Larry Nasser, who was the team physician at the gym that Mr. Geddert used to own. Uh, and he resigned as the owner and, and sold the facility to his wife. Uh, these uh, charges and uh, were, were coming out over the last couple of days. Uh, we broke this story last night that he was going to be charged. And now, of course, the preliminary exam to get into all of this is not necessary because Mr. Geddert is, um, took his own life. And Tim, this case was troubling as it was, and then of course this. Any idea though why Gattert wasn't arrested before the charges were publicly announced? Is that unusual? Well, they were going to do the arraignment yesterday, and there were some problems apparently with the paperwork and getting into the court, so it was moved over to today at 2.15. Uh, and as, as we indicated, the attorney general did not release any of the evidence in this case, and there, there was kind of a misconception that it was in some way linked to Larry Nasser's conduct at this same gymnasium. Uh, from a technical standpoint, they were not. However, uh, Mr. Geddert was accused of lying about what he knew about what Dr. Nasser was doing at the facility. Uh, when he got complaints from some of the uh, young women who were there about Nasser's conduct, uh, Mr. Getter told the police he didn't know anything about that. Uh, but that, of course, is now completely irrelevant as this sad story and uh, terrible story continues to make news um, with yes. his departure. Yes, and he was facing some very serious charges. All right, thank you, Tim.